I came to the track meet. I told y'all I wasn't working. I came to be a fan. I'm already damn working. I, I'm I'm Uber. Look at, I'm damn Uber already. The okay, hell, so, you know, Lux. This, Uber Lux. This, <laughs> it's too hot to take a goddamn top off. I can tell you that, but we ain't doing that shit. Look, first off, I don't even want to be in this car because he's talking about. Oh yeah, we're talking about you, but you gonna lose. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make him yeah. eat his motherfucking words. Oh yeah, yeah. So Lolo running the hundred tomorrow. I hurdles. Think, hurdles. Hundred. I ain't really get smoked. I've been trying for hard the damn hundred all damn morning, like. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe you need to run the damn hundred in the state. Well, hundred, I'll run about 13 seconds flat. Uh, well, I mean, shit, and these you might not. I, I don't know. Now I'm running the hurdles. I'm for the old lady gang gang. So I'm about to be this. I'm actually running my last race. I don't even want to say this. Lord, I don't even want to say my age. I'm running um, my last day of being 40, and then I turn 41. What do you mean? Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. What do you mean you turn 41? What do you mean? 41. I will be 41 years old. When? Like... Right after that race. <laughs> oh, she gonna get whooped and then go party to get it over with. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Now, for real, y'all, y'all know I only mess with Lolo like this because this is my sister. This is my homie from 20 something years in track and field. She been in school with me on the bobsled lifestyle um, since I've been here. I don't think I want to do bobsled no more. She good at it. Yeah, world champion in bobsled. World champion. World ch Lolo, so. I'm world champion in both sports. I was about to Olympian say. Olympian in both sports. And yeah, I'm about to break the Masters world record for the old lady gang gang. <laughs> what, in the, what is the Masters record? I think I just got to get over 10 hurdles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's actually, I don't think, I don't think anybody my age is still running them. So I think you just, I think they have a record for 80 meter hurdles, but like. 10 hurdles, 100 meters, I think literally there's not a record, so I just have to finish. If I finish the race, my agent said, if you finish the race, you will have the world record. <laughs> just don't fall. As long as you don't fall, you got the record. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> All right. Look, look, you know I got a message coming on so this video. So tune in, people. Tune in. <laughs> tune in. So, well, let me ask you this real fast, because I didn't even mean to turn into an interview, but since we here, so when you did the indoor, is that what you were trying to accomplish the same thing, get the record? Uh, I was just trying to shake the rust off from bobsled. Like I was literally 25 pounds heavier. So I'm just getting back on the scene and I'm okay with taking L's. I know this newer generation is, they don't like taking L's. They don't like racing, lining up. Look, I'll take an L all day if it's gonna get me somewhere end game. And you know, I owe my body to end my career how I wanna end my career. I didn't wanna mm. end my career as a bobsled athlete. And I'm okay with coming back, like you said, taking some L's, getting your ass whooped, because guess what? Along my career, I've had ups and I've had downs, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I remember the times where I came back from those L's harder than I was on top just winning nonstop. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, it's just a challenge, I love it, and you know, miracles can happen. It hasn't happened on the women's side, but I don't know if you realize, on the guy's side, Alan Johnson ran until he was 42, and he was yeah. winning Diamond League. He was. So. Stop the cap. But, I mean, stop I ain't, the cap. Well, I mean, I ain't capping, but Allen didn't stop. You know, he didn't go do yeah. bobsled and then come back. So I think that might be a little different. Low, yeah, low. might need a little bit time to adjust. <laughs> but miracles can happen. Um, let them sing it. Please let them sing it. That's why they got the... Uh, miracles First of all, my favorite song, Don't Mess It Up. Do not mess it up. Wait, is it Mariah Carey? It's Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston. Listen, it's Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, sing it, not I Lolo. Sing, sing I, it. Yeah, I can't sing it either. I ain't been embarrassed myself on camera like you doing right now. Because on YouTube with you know copyright infringement, blah blah blah. I I'm don't think they're gonna copyright infringement. Not that. It was so off key. Not that. <laughs> YouTube be like shit. That's why, my song. Why are those cats in your background? What are they doing? Like, what is going on? But what? anyways, I would just love to just go out there and you know. Get over 10 hurdles, break this Masters world record that's not going to count for nothing. Oh, it will, it'll count for something. Pride. Exactly. Something you got to do for pride. That's it. Exactly. Sometimes you just got to do certain stuff for yourself. Exactly. Like, I ain't doing this for y'all. I'm doing this for me. And look. I think she's going to make it to y'all. But that's why I was saying she was going to get dusty because I thought she was in the 100. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I kept saying, I was like, man, the more you say, I was like, Lolo, you need to get dusty. And you you kept saying, I was getting more. I was, yeah. I was quiet. I was getting fucking, I was getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm 
like, I'm gonna take all this, I'm I just kept storing, I'm storing for tomorrow. I'm gonna bust out them blocks, and the moment I cross that line, race tight, race tight, <laughs> where are you at? Hey, but now she say she in the hurdles, I'm, I'm gonna give it back to her. Like, oh, well you in the hurdles, I ain't worried about that, just clear yeah, all the hurdles. There's there. only six people in the hurdles, so but like, six. yeah, there's only six, there's not nine, so technically no one's getting last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you in the you so you in the, hunt, in the, the hurdles that's in the this morning. Is, this is how this is how much you gotta humble yourself at the end of a career. I'm I'm not wasn't good enough for the A race, not good enough for the B race. We in the open, baby. The open means you actually entered yourself. You paid <laughs> an entry fee <laughs> to run in this race. Well, I didn't because my my hey. agent actually hosts this meet. But yeah, like it's on your own. Shout to Paul Doyle. Yeah, shout out to Paul Doyle. He was my sponsor for this track. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you basically paid to run a race. And this is my first race of the year. Most people ran their first races in April or May or March. I've been injured all year. Um, I had a weird injury with my hip adjusting from bobsled. They finally figured it out. So I will have my first race in August. This is unreal. It's like the last, this is everybody's <laughs> last race. Everybody's last race, your this first race. This is everybody's last race of the season. And I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and open up. So, but the main thing is, you about to have a birthday tonight. No. Oh, tomorrow. I guess God didn't like what I was saying because I was trying to, you know, downgrade Lolo running, and he was like, y'all know how it happened. Like, nope, Rafe, shut you off. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lolo. I apologize for saying that you was gonna get dusted in the track meet tomorrow yeah, for your God birthday. Yeah, like Abraham's wife. Yeah, I'm, I'm kid sorry. At 90. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I do want to give you your flowers because you are brave enough and bold enough to be out here and you are part of our class. Like I said, when I saw you in the lineup, I jumped. People, y'all saw it. Y'all, when I saw, oh, y'all already know. I ain't got to tell y'all. <laughs> when I say I saw you out there, I was like, that there to me is your greatest accomplishment because you decided to go run and I'm not saying this disrespectfully, but like knowingly, like my career is pretty much behind me, but I'm finna go out here anyway. A lot of people will not do that at all. Cause they can be like, oh, I don't wanna do that shit, I'm getting embarrassed. I don't wanna be embarrassed, I know. Exactly. I mean, those same thoughts go through my mind. Cause it's like, I've had such an amazing career. Like first female hurdler to, to win back to back world indoor championships, world championships. Then breaking the American record, becoming the fastest American hurdler in mm -hmm. history. Mm -hmm. To go from that to like, you are entering this race 25 pounds heavier from bobsled. You're probably going to take a big, big L. You might be a half a hurdle behind these mofos. Like, to have to just humble yourself and be like, you know what? You got to take these L's to get better. You got to just remove the ego and just get out there and race. And it's funny because I really was burned out. When I left track after the 2012 Olympics, I really was burned out. And um, going to Bob's that helped revive that. And now I'm back in track and I'm like, I really do love the sport of track. I love running. You know, I love the workouts. And so we're just going to run until, you know, the hips fall off, you know, or I really get tired of doing this. You know, the money ain't there anymore. Yeah, it ain't That's money. Ain't the money, money ain't not the money. It ain't. <laughs> no, no, you know, because, you know, I love you, Def. You know, I got, just because I'm getting this, co this content, the sneak content. Yeah, get the I feel like I got to ask you the question that everybody will want to ask. And I, I want to ask myself. How did you get over hitting that hurdle? I'm still not over it. Damn, thanks for asking. Appreciate That's all I want you to tell the people. That's you don't ever get over that shit, y'all. <laughs> like, I don't think people understand. Like, when that type of shit happens to us in the sport, it's like when, when she first got in the car, we was talking about, you know, the Olympic teams that I didn't make. And I'm like, nigga, I'm still mad about that shit. <laughs> like, I'm still hot. Like, so I just wanted her to say it in front of y'all. Like, nah, we don't get over that shit. No, you never get over it. But here's the thing. You can use that as motivation. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I did. So had I not hit that hurdle in 08, there was no way that would have gave me the gas in my fire to just make the 2012 team. Because a lot of people don't know this, about 2012, I had spine surgery the year before. I couldn't even walk. And I was so fired up from hitting that dang hurdle that I literally used it every day. I went into the Olympic trials with one of the last times for US Olympic trials. Got third in the first round. Woo, you're supposed to get third. In, you're supposed to get third in the last round, not the prelims. Yeah, yeah, Got third in the first yeah. round. Mm -hmm. Worked my way through. Made that mother sucking team. Show did. Show I'm did. The last qualifier to making that team. Show then did. go to London. I remember, that. I, do? I remember London, that. I got fourth. 
Mm. First person not to medal. Not only that, the first time in Olympic history, that time did not get an Olympic medal. Mm. So two times now I've been sniped. What did I do? You, you got 1.2 million followers now because you made everybody yeah. believe that it's bigger than just your failures. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all had to be there. Go ahead. What did I do? I took both of those L's, became a bobsledder, became one of the 10 Americans, 10 to go to a summer and winter Olympic team. So I don't have an Olympic medal, but only 10 people can say they're a summer and winter Olympian. I don't need a medal. They you know, I looked fear, I looked losses, obstacles, overcame them all. So. I don't know. It's just, you still get fired up about not getting a, me a medal for sure, but I can tell my kids whenever I have them, if I have them, I'm trying, you know, get off the streets, but <laughs> I never gave up. I fought like a motherfucker. Hey. Oh, you're going to have to beat that out. Sorry. No, nah, this is Ravens tape, baby. They already know. They already, <laughs> they already know. We're real, real raw out of here. For real, for real, for real. And we talking about to my two-year-old, your, your mama fought like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lolo, I so I surely appreciate it. Y'all, this was this was not planned. Like literally, like I was at the track. No. And it then, clearly wasn't planned. I got no makeup on my nothing. face. Looking like boo-boo from practice. Thanks. The next time give me a warning. At least I could call my got hair sticking up. Jing. All I did was like, hey, you need to ride to the hotel. She was like, hell yeah, make you ride to yeah. the hotel. And then all of a sudden.